Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to create a simple ABAP CDS view. We make a join and use a few functions. I'm in Eclipse here and now I log in in one of my development systems. Then I pick a package where I want to create my CDS view. Set examples, right mouse click, new, other ABAP repository object, then core data services, and here I pick data definition. Click on next. Then I pick a name for my CDS view and I a description. Next. Okay, I add a transport request. Next. And here we see uh, different templates. We use today the define view. So I click on define view and I click on the button finish. Then we see some code and here I type my database table where I want to select the data. Then I click in the brackets, press the buttons control space and then I insert all the elements. We see which uh, columns are key and now we can oh, now we need the, the name of the generated database table. I pick set test CDS tab. This is the name of the database table which is generated. So activate and then right mouse click on the CDS view, open with and data preview. So let's have a look at the data and we see here are the columns and the data from the table spfly. For the next step, I want to know which care ID is the name or which name uh, belongs to the care ID. So I do a join to the table as carrier. In my example here, I use the left outer join then I write on SB fly care ID is S carrier care ID. I delete the columns and I inserted the, the columns new, the columns of both tables. Then I only want to know the carrier name, so I delete the other columns from the table as carrier. After that, I generate the activate the view and I browse the data here and we see the carrier name. So for example, LH for Lufthansa. So this is pretty fast. And next I want to use some functions. For example, the upper function, I want to display the carrier name in uppercase. So activate and browse the data and we see the new uh, column named upper carrier name and the carrier name is in uppercase. So the next uh, function I want to show is the concat with space and here I want to display the city from and the city to. So I type here the two columns city from and city to and the number of spaces between these two columns. Then I need the alias name S from two, for example. Activate and let's check the data. We see here a new column. Let's uh, extend this a little bit and we see here the name uh, for from, city from and city to. Concatenated. Uh, the next function I want to show is uh, uh, computation. Uh, I use the function division because in my table the flight time is stored in minutes and here I want to compute the flight time in hours. So I write here flight time, the column, 
Dan60. Okay, we have an error here. We check the lock. Okay, ours is a reserved word. So we pick an, an other one and I write here set hours. The two is the, the round places after the comma. And here we see the new column set hours and the com compute com computed uh, flight time in hours. And here we need uh, we use this flight time in minutes. Okay, so let's go back to the CDS view. And you, we can set some authorization checks here, but not, not today. But we copy the, the name of the table here, set test CDS tab. Then we open a SAP GUI window, go to the up up dictionary, and we paste the table name here and we uh, click on the button display and here we see the generated view we see the view fields the table and so on then we click on the browse data button and here we see the the columns and let's browse the data and here we see the carrier name the upper carrier name the concatenated uh, values then the computed uh, values, the hours, and so on, all available in the ABAP. Okay, um, where you can uh, check the functions which you can use in a CDS view, there is a, a help site from SAP, the info site, and here you can check the functions which you can use on your system. For example, some conversion functions or date and time functions, which you can use, but this uh, depends on your ABAP uh, uh, release. Here, for example, release 752. I will paste you this link in the video description. Yes, that was it already. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Write me something in the comments. I'm always happy to read from you. Take care and see you soon.